Hey everyone, I'm Sam. And I'm Michelle. We have a great broadcast for you today, including se segments of Fresh and Flight, Weather with Jillian, Sports with Haley, and an interview with, Sa with Mr. Saucier about the coffee shop, talking with some people about Flag Day. This is your KLPS yes, News. news. Wednesday. Sam, how many days are left of summer school? We have eight days of summer school left. That's really cool. Well, Flag Day is today. I really don't know what that means. Let's take a look at what others think, others think about Flag Day. Today is National Flag Day. So, what is Flag Day? Well, we interviewed some students and teachers to hear their thoughts on Flag Day. Flag Day is a holiday where they hang up a bunch of flags, and it's also my great uncle's birthday, and that's pretty much all that I know. <laughs> My favorite flag would probably have to be the United Kingdom flag, just by the overall design of it and how pretty it looks. And also, England's one of my favorite countries. Flag Day is a holiday that celebrates a lot of flags. Uh, probably the Germany flag, because I went to Europe and I went to Germany. Uh, flag Day is a day that we recognize when um, the United States adopted the flag that we have today, which is Stars and Stripes. Well, those are some interesting answers, and at least Mr. Armilio told us what it is. Yeah, they were. Well, I hope there will be perfect weather for Flag Day. Yeah, let's go to Julian with weather. Thanks, Sam and Michelle. It looks like today we will have a high of 89 degrees and with a low of 68 degrees. And today we will have rainstorms. Let's zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, the fronts are just missing Liberty, leaving us with a few rain patches here and here, but nothing to get under the weather about because we'll have sunny skies later today at six. So you'll have plenty of time to do the things that you have planned for. Back to you, Sam and Michelle. Mm. Mm. Thanks for that, Jillian. Michelle, are you nervous about coming up to high school? Not really. It helps to be here in summer school. There is a new freshman flight class to help kids become more comfortable. High school can be terrifying for newcomers, but thankfully, Liberty Public Schools offers a program for incoming freshmen to learn the ropes of high school. Let's find out what this program is like. Okay, so freshmen take flight is like a transition course uh, for kids to get kind of excited about high school and maybe ease some fears that they might have. So we've done things with schedules, um, logistics about like high school credits, like what do you need in order to graduate. We've talked about clubs, activities. Um, we've done some team building stuff. And then today we're actually doing a community service project. In class, we have a variety of different lessons to so that we can create some good skills so we'll be successful in high school. And so far we've done projects that were based off of diversity and empathy, so how to show our kindness to make other people's school day easier. So we've done things like that. And we've also done projects where we worked on like note-taking skills or um, also how to study, things of that nature. Freshman Take Flight allows students to not only learn about high school, but also how to make a positive impact on their community. Right now, we're doing our community service hours, and currently we're making birthday cards for foster children or other children that are in shelters. Um, we watched a really cool TED Talk on community service and just how in the, your four years of high school, how you can really do small little things to really make a big difference and the kids seem really excited about the project. This project allows students to discover that they can have a role in the community and create differences in small, yet meaningful ways. This has been Elena Gorton and Bailey Daniels. Back to the front. Well, that was really interesting. Do you know what else is interesting? Sports. Yeah, let's go to Haley with sports. Thanks, guys. Eagles football just went to team camp and is getting ready for the up and coming season. So get your Eagle gear ready. In other news, the Royals just won against the Giants at a score of 8-1. to So tune in for the Royals game tonight at 2.45 when they go against the Giants again. 
Who do you guys think is going to win? My fingers are crossed for the Royals. Thanks, Haley. I think the Royals are going to win. What about you, Michelle? I think they'll win, but we'll see. Well, last week we showed you the coffee shop opening. Audrey and Jackie, show us how it's going now. Today we went to a coffee shop to get an update since it recently opened. We also learned some history behind this coffee shop. Now let's head over to Mr. Saucier to see how this coffee shop came to be. Uh, so in terms of starting the coffee shop, um, I didn't start it, I inherited it. Um, and so when I moved to the program, I just took what worked and then just approved upon that. Um, in terms of LHS's coffee shop, I think it's really, really nice. And Mrs. King, who runs that coffee shop, worked really hard, wrote a nice long grant and got a lot of money. So kind of jealous, but we still have a pretty nice coffee shop. Um, in terms of the benefit of the coffee shop, it, it teaches the students job skills and it's an everyday uh, life experience. So it helps not only my students, but also students for the rest. Oh my gosh. So it also, as you can see, helps work on job skills, social skills. <laughs> now let's head over to Breck and Addison to see what he has to say about the coffee shop. Um, my favorite drink at the coffee shop is probably their cappuccino. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, and then I would recommend it to other people because it's quiet. You can meet new people there and talk to uh, other people. Uh, what I like about the coffee shop is that yeah, it's quiet. You meet new people. Uh, the people that give you the, make the coffee for you are really nice. And Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check out the coffee shop. Wow, that was a great video. I believe that is all we have today. Have a great day and we'll see, we'll you, see tomorrow, you tomorrow, birds. birds.